Well, I've been working for many, many years for a lot of people, and I've seen a lot of film. And, you know, I've I've had a number of projects in development, and uh, haven't gotten a full feature. I just finished a. Uh, I, I directed a play in uh, 2010 in Los Angeles, which we're um, we're still uh, planning on taking that around. And and I did a film, uh, American Songwriter, which uh, we did in. 2012, I took it around the world and we won like 20 odd film festivals with that, so it did quite well. And I have a number of projects, one which I'm hoping to do in Australia here um, at some point. Um, so, you know, shows that I've uh, developed or written or, um, you know, aspired to direct or whatever. Um, I'm having the same issues that he had all of his life with trying to put together uh, financing packages and stuff like that. It's just the world of independent filmmaking, so uh, yeah, that's right. It's it's okay. I'm I'm a little uh, older and seasoned, but uh, <laughs> that's that's it. It's my goal to direct and, yeah. and to produce. And, and and you'd have to take some lessons from from what. Uh, well, I only went to one school. I mean, you know, initially I've, you know, been around. I, I've worked with all the great directors um, at one point or another and been around and seen all of their footage. I did dailies for, uh, for, for many, many uh, uh, big projects after, uh, you know, aside from my father's films. So. But I did learn everything, um, you know, the, the Robert Altman School of Filmmaking was if you were there, you were, you were doing it that way and yeah. that was it. And it was definitely unique. Uh, the first time I saw, um, went, went and worked for a studio, I was somewhat appalled at the, the difference in, in their attitude towards the whole craft of filmmaking. You know, I have some early memories of my brother and I climbing around on the set of combat, you know, and playing with the hand grenades. And, uh, you know, I think we got to go up a, in a helicopter when they were shooting, when he was shooting whirlybirds as really young. And of course, those are impressionable memories. But, but the real, the real, you know, great memories are the films that I worked on for a year at a time, you know, where I got to get, you know, get in there and really be part of the process. And, um, I, I spent my entire life in post-production, you know, editorial kind of side of things, although I was always on, on set on these films because uh, my job was to uh, make sure that the film got to the lab and got developed and then sync up the, uh, I would do the, the daily projection and, and uh, work in editorial, so, which from, you know, my opinion, that's where the film's made, you know, the... Uh, everybody thinks you're shooting a movie that oh yeah well that's 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 oh they're making the movie but no they're making the building blocks that's right and uh, finally you know it, it's a hard question but you know if you were to you know start if you were a, a novice a new person who had not experienced your father's films where do you start oh boy that's tough too uh, pretty much anywhere you know the 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 films that have got the most uh, critical acclaim and are the most popular certainly have their merits but if you look at if you dig around in that uh, there's some 40 odd films uh, uh, that he's done feature films and uh, every one of them has the uh, you know the earmark of, of something unique and something uh, innovative in it so um, I don't know you know if you're talking about looking at his work um, there's so many great. Uh, the selection we have at this festival is is really fabulous. It's a it's a great it's a great uh, peppering of uh, of uh, projects and uh, uh, a, a pretty broad spectrum of the type of work that he did.